what? Baby, you know that I miss you I wanna get with you tonight But I cannot, baby, girl, and that's the issue Girl, you know I miss you I just wanna kiss you But I can't right now, so baby, kiss me to the fun Hi, y'all! Welcome back to my channel! And if you're new here, welcome to my channel This Valentine's Day, you know, we gotta... We gotta be fresh. I have no idea what I was trying to say. Okay, so by popular demand, I made a tutorial on this look. It's gonna be a faster video. I know, trust me, you know, I, I have not mastered the getting a video in under like 18 minutes thing, but this one will be under 18 minutes. So anyways, um, here's my soft pink Valentine's Day tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know. You know all the products I'm using are going to be linked down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day everyone. What up? Yo, dab on it. Boom. Okay, let's get started. As always, we're starting with brows first. We're going to use MAC True Brunette Fluid Line Brow Gel and a angled brush. So first off, we're going to start by underlining the bottom of our brow and I'm just going to follow the natural shape and then drag a little tail out there at the back like so then to fill in any gaps I'm just gonna take the brush and go in upward little strokes kind of the flow of the hair to help fill in any gaps or missing pieces and make it look a little fuller now for the front of the brows you're just gonna take the angled brush and go in teeny little strokes upward because brow hair normally does just kind of pop straight up forward in the front anyway, so you just kind of want to accentuate that. This is how I do my brows. If anyone's a hater, they can go on. Go somewhere else. Bye. To prime my eyelids, I'm using MAC Paint Away Paint Pot and a flat brush, which I will link below, B-dubs. So you're just going to go in and you are going to sweep this all over your entire eyelid. Um, just use the flat brush to be able to spread it evenly like butter. This is like butter for your eyelids, but it's going to keep everything in place. You feel me? Now taking a MAC 239 shadow brush and the color White Frost, we are going to underline our under brow. So you're just going to go in back and forth strokes right under your brow shape to help accentuate that upper eyelid area and help flow and give a little pop of shine. Now taking a MAC 224 blending brush and the color Saddle, yes, we are going to work this back and forth and also in little circular motions to blend it out in our crease. Again, I've used Saddle quite a bit. It's my favorite crease color just because it's like a warm brown, but it's still neutral, so it's not too overpowering. Work. It. Is it worth it? Put my blending brush out and I work it. Blending goes back and forth circular, yep. Back forth circular, yep. If you got a little crease, let me deepen it. Back forth circular, yep. Back forth circular, yep. Now taking a 221 small blending brush in the color News Flash. This is a pinky red. Just trust me. This is my Valentine's jam. You're going to go in itty bitty baby strokes and circular motions in the lower crease of your eye to give it a nice soft pink Valentine's Day pop of color. Again, I'm really accentuate going in little tiny circular motions with the little blending brush. That way it helps blend it out at the same time you apply it. Still using the same color and brush, you're going to go in circular motions in the outer corner of your eye to give it just a little more pop of pink, you know. Um, again, really teeny tiny circular motions is going to help blend out the product at the same time you're applying it, which saves you so much trouble and it makes the look so much softer. Next we're using the Mariah Carey on the Chick You Like eyeshadow palette because this yellowy gold is perfect for this look and I don't have it just singly so I apologize I don't really like using palettes but that's how we're gonna roll today 
So using the 139, you're just going to rub the gold color on your inner bottom eyelid and just smooth it back and forth. Make sure you press it in, get it real nice so it adds a pop of highlight to your eye. Then I just take your 221 blending brush and just kind of reinforce that pink color and clean up the tops of your crease a little bit just to clean everything up. Now before I go in and apply my false lashes, I'm just going to mascara my natural lashes just a tad. Today I'm using the Beauty Box Lavish Lashes. They're a locally owned company, but they do have a website, so I'll link it below. So I'm just going to go in and place these with tweezers on my lower lash line. I chose these because they're really fluffy, they're like a three layer. Um, so they're really fluffy and soft which creates a nice softness to the eyes but at the same time a little bit of a dramatic lash look as well. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I went and did my foundation and my concealer, um, but now we're going to jump to contour. I'm using my Hoola bronzer and my 168 contour brush from MAC. So we're just going to go in an up and down motion with that contour brush right under our cheekbone to help accentuate our cheek shape. Um, applying it up in, in an up and down motion does help blend it out as you apply it versus applying it and then having to worry about blending out a big streak. So we got a nice soft contour look going on here. I always like to take the bronzer and just kind of work it on the top of my forehead, not for any contouring purposes, just to add a little bronze color to my face um, and help even everything out. And then of course we're going to contour our nose just using the same brush to help give us some shape back. So next we're going to go in with MAC Warm Soul Mineralized Blush. And you're going to work this in circular motions from the apples of your cheeks. Um, you're also going to take it all the way back towards your ear because we really want to warm up the face and give a nice fresh color. For my highlight today, I'm using Double Gleam from MAC. Um, these are the bomb. These dimension highlighters, you, you, you need to go look at them all. And I'm just going to brush this on the... Then dust a little across my nose. Pop some on the brim. You know, about to put a little on my cupid's bow. A little on my chin. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Going back in with News Flash and a MAC 252 flat brush, we're going to smoke out our bottom lash line. So you're just going to take the brush and get some product on the tips and you are going to run that brush back and forth on your bottom lash line. This just helps finish everything off in my opinion. I always put a shadow down there whether it be light or dark to smoke it out um, just to help finish everything and connect the colors. Then you're going to go back in with that yellow color we put on our inner lower eyelid and you're just going to pop a little in your tear duct just to give a little pop of shine. Taking this eyeliner pencil called Fascinating Eye Coal from MAC, this is a white color. Um, we're going to place this on the waterline of our bottom eye. Um, just a little tip here, uh, if you have smaller eyes, using a white eyeliner on the waterline can give the appearance to make them bigger. I like to use it because it helps mine look fresher and awake and yeah so just a little just a little tip there. Now going in with MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara. This is the best mascara. It's so dark, it's so black, it's so thick Ooh! and it really grips onto those lashes. I like my bottom lashes to look like spider legs. So we're just going to go in and swish it back and forth to mascara our bottom lashes. Now for my lipstick, I'm using MAC Mariah Carey Darling Lipstick. Yes, it's so pretty. It is a very pasty pink, as you guys will see. Kind of going to look like a corpse at first. But I'm not going to use a liner or anything. I want to keep my lips pretty soft and natural. So I'm just going to go in and sweep this across my lip. Now I'm taking Jouer Cosmetics Skinny Dip Lip Topper. Um, this, by the way, is infused with coconut oil. So hello to the moisture. Yes. 
just the perfect gold gloss we're gonna sweep across our lips for hydration and kissable lips there you have it here's this easy pink valentine's day look i hope you guys enjoyed tag me if you recreate this and of course as usual stay tuned for some bloopers bye guys She's really pretty. Well, anyway, so here this goes, and this is like the, everything is so professional and personal, and then you <laughs> have a redneck moment and just like ruined it all for me. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> and when I, and I knew what it was when I heard it, it's that dumb dog, poor thing, and you say, stop that. Scratching her, ah, you yell at the dog during the middle of this beautiful girl's face video, and I'm like, "Oh, poor girl!" But it did not go with anything you were doing. Like everything's just lovely, and you're professional, and I'm gonna hire you. And then all of a sudden, you're yelling at the dog. Mom, that's what the people want. They want real no. life. The people no. want real life. Not that one. I mean, that was a little too far, I think. Everything else is good, but that one was, that one, that's just your mom, you know. How have I been recording for 21 minutes? I don't get it. I don't know, but if you're recording me and you, and it accidentally slips up and ends up public, we're going to be in trouble. It. I'm a little trash. Club, man. Oh, yeah, they hate, but they broke, but they broke, but when it's time to pop, they have no 